Hi, this is Mark Fitzpatrick from Tiger Club of Kansas City. This is Tuesday, March the 13th. We had two speakers today, Carrington Harrison from 610 Sports Radio and Jared Sutton from Mizzou Letterman and SEC analyst. Gentlemen, thanks for coming out today. Thanks for having us. It's fun. All right, big week coming up. Jared, what do you think about the Tigers draw? I like it. They're in a great part of the bracket. Uh, I, I think an opportunity to play Florida State, which is a good matchup for them. Uh, we only had a one-game sample size with Michael Porter, so hopefully he plays well. Big part of this game. We'll miss Jordan Barnett, um, but I fully anticipate they'll get through, and then it, it really bodes well for a good matchup against Xavier. Try to get out of the first week, and you got to take the NCAA tournament as a two-game tournament. You can't look ahead one game at a time, survive in advance, possession by possession. Uh, but this team, I, I like where they're at in a matchup. Uh, that I think bodes well for them and on the side of the, the tournament bracket that I think they could be successful in. Okay. Carrington, you follow the Tigers very closely. It's been a great year to see them develop. And I think, you know, going the season, they were picked fifth in the SEC with Michael Porter. They finished fifth without him. Conzo's done a heck of a job. No, Conzo's been amazing. I, I mean, they've accomplished everything I thought was realistic with without Michael Porter. I, you can't, you can only imagine what they could have done if they had Michael Porter. I think I think they would have won the SEC if Michael Porter had played this season. I mean, you think about it. If they win the Ole Miss game, they finish fourth. I mean, I think Mike's good enough for two wins in the SEC just based on what we've seen. Now, the, I mean, 13 wins would have had you tied for first place with Auburn and Tennessee for the SEC. I mean, what Conzo Martin did this year is statue building worthy. Yeah. Like, if they gave Conzo another raise, I wouldn't fault him. Like, yeah. what he did with the amount of talent and with all the limitations they had this season was incredible. And it's showing up on the recruiting trail, too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think Courtney Ramey is a very very realistic option for Missouri. I don't think Missouri offers them this late if they didn't think they had a good shot. And I don't think Conzo, Conzo was in a full on press right now to grab Courtney Ramey. He's been to his last three high school games. I think Missouri's pulling out all the stops to try to get him. Okay, Jared, let's talk real quickly about the Mizzou women, mm -hmm. fifth seed uh, mm -hmm. in the uh, Lexington, going to Lexington this week. How does it look for them? I think it looks good. I mean, again, I think like the men, they got a good draw. Uh, you'd like to see them host. They're a five seed. I know they wanted to get in the top 16 and try to be a one through four seed, but they're a five. Uh, they're coming off uh, at least an SEC tournament win. I know they didn't play well against Georgia, didn't shoot it all that well. Sophie didn't play well, uh, really struggled to shoot the ball and score the ball inside. I, I think a team that has all the ability to make it through the first weekend, I, I like where they're at as far as, again, matchup. But Sophie's got to play well, and then Jordan Frericks has to be an impact. She was not an impact in the SEC tournament. She is a big part of that team that doesn't get talked about enough. She's a double-double waiting to happen. And then they got to take care of the ball. It's a team that struggles with turnovers at times. Uh, but Robin Pynchon always has this team bounce back from tough losses. They always have an ability to respond and rebound. So I like their chances getting through the first weekend. And both men and women are playing fairly close to home, so we should have good representation, I think, of the fans. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, especially in Nashville, get in that car and head down to Nashville because that's a, that's a big, big game, and we need all of Mizzou Nation there. Okay, it's going to be a fun week. Gentlemen, thank you for coming thank out. Thank you so we much. We appreciate it very much. Hey, folks, next week our guest speaker will be Ben Arnett of the Mizzou Sports Network. And then don't forget, uh, you can register for our golf tournament. Uh, go to kctigerclub.com. So follow Carrington at c.harrison is his Twitter handle. Correct. And at Jarrett T. Sutton is his Twitter handle. They are two of the best. So uh, check us out next week right here at Flea Market. Ben Arnett, our guest speaker. For more information, follow us at KC Tiger Club.